Hey there people, how you doing? This is Raphael. This is a video update of some of the things I got is doing in the SOS. Um, I just want you guys to know that, um, you know, there's no words for me to really explain what guy is doing. Uh, I can only show you uh, uh, with the people that are coming to this thing. We had our first SOS back in uh, July and got these amazing miracles inside and out with people. and. Uh, one thing that I do want to say is that the, the school of Sanchez is not a place where you come and you just have an experience with God and you go back home and then that's it. This is a place where, where you come, school, you come, you, 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 you get acquainted in your relationship with God, you strengthen, you, you, get, you, you learn to experience God in every area of your life and then you go back and He affects your whole family, affects your community, affects your people, affects your co-workers. And basically that's what's happening. The people that came there, God is continuously doing things in them and around them. And so I want to show you guys some of the people that came, some of the students uh, that came. And this is uh, Shauna. I want you guys to see the video. Um, she's an amazing woman, amazing sister, amazing woman of God. And um, I'm just so glad that I met her in July. And, um, you know, just check her out. She's uh, awesome. Uh, Shana, love you, and thank you for, for coming. Um, everybody, here's Shana. God bless. Bye-bye. My name is Shana Thorson, and I am from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. I'm 28 years old. And... Well, I think that um, where God's been taking me right now, I just... I'm kind of at a point where... I'm ready for whatever he has for me, and he's been taking me through a, quite a bit of knowledge processing and stuff like that, and I'm just expecting to get more than I'm expecting here, and just to be able to um, encounter him in such a real way, more than I've ever encountered before, and um, the purpose being so I can use it in our ministry and um, a new ministry God is starting with my husband and I and so we can just take the power that God's giving and we can transfer it and just go out and serve people the way that he's calling us to and the way that he's asking us to do and I just um, don't want to hold back and I don't want to have pride and embarrassment stop me this week. Those are kind of what I'm looking for, I guess. Um, I've just been getting nailed this week by so much information, I don't even know how to get it. I'm just like, I'm like, God, just let this sink in because I can't write it down. I can't, like, think about it enough to get it all and just wrap my brain around everything. But, um, I think the couple of the biggest things he's been showing me, though, is, um, just the things that Satan intends to use for harm and the things he tries to use to take us out are the things that God turns around and uses for good. And uh, just being able to have God help me overcome things and to um, see the good come out of the like tragic events in my life and stuff. And, you know, to get to a place where I'm here this week, it's just been so unreal and every day, like, I just cannot believe I'm here and I'm doing this stuff. And, uh, you know, even like today, we were on a little boat ride with girls and, um, Raphael. And just the, one of the big things that on our talk out there, our prayer time on the kayaks was like, um, the biggest faith you can have is when you just say thank you. Even just because if you can say thank you to God, you've already received your healing. You've already received your deliverance. You've already received your overcoming, whatever it is. And just knowing that, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. You don't have to, you know, keep begging and begging and begging and, and being like, it's not here yet. Where is it? You know, you can start thanking God. It's going to be there. And... um 
have one other thought for I forgot. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's just been amazing to be in this group of random people from all over the world. And everybody has just meshed. And only God could put that together and make it fun and comfortable. And it's like everybody here really feels like family and like brothers and sisters. And it's been, um, yeah, just an unreal, unforgettable experience, and I just look forward to being used by God to bring other people through their healings and, and their deliverances and, um, you know, help walk, walk them through it, so. Hi, my name is Shauna Thorson, and I went to the School of Sonship this last week. Um, I think for me, coming into it, I just was at a spot where I was kind of stuck and needed a little extra help to just move forward and grow deeper with God and I um, just figured getting away from the busyness of life and being someplace serene and out in nature that that would help because I would actually get the quiet time I needed and um, you know just thought I'd be able to get away alone with God and you know get into the word and just have my own worship time and just stuff like that and I came into it also just kind of praying, like, God, I want you to exceed my expectations. And I don't want to go into it expecting anything because I tend to get my expectations, you know, kind of high and then they don't get met. So I just thought I'm just going to go into this with a free open mind and just um, see what happens. And if nothing else, I'll enjoy the vacation. And... So I got here with all these people I didn't know, which was a lot, really quite out of my comfort zone. And it was such a packed week full of just the presence of God in everything we did. And the teaching and the friendships that were formed. And um, I, looking back, it's really hard to know even what to say and what to explain because so many things happen so deep inside of me that I can't even express them um, into words. And just, it was like every day was so, from the time we woke up to the time we went to sleep finally, it was like we knew that God had guided our whole day from beginning to the end. And um, things that were so deep in my heart that I didn't even know were there. God brought them to the surface and dealt with them and I know that I found healing and um, just the wisdom I think that was poured into us and just things that were sunk so deep in our soul that I know I will never be the same and I found myself excited to go share it with people which is normally not me and I know that God's going to be using things that happened this week to help bring him into their lives as well. Um, some of the highlights that I learned from the week were um, just the simple fact that Jesus can be with us all the time in every single thing we do. And when we carry him from one thing to the next throughout the whole day, um, the whole perspective of everything you do is completely different. And it just makes things like cleaning even and dishes more fun and enjoyable because you're not just working. You know, you're talking to your best friend and your father. And, um, you know, the other thing that we learned was just the power that God has placed inside of us. And um, everything that I need is already inside of me. And God has already placed that in me because he lives inside of me. I am one with him. And I'm just another branch of Jesus that can go out and he can use my hands as an extension of who he is. And so through me, Jesus can touch other people, and that thought has never become real to me until this last week. And, um, you know, because of that, and God is inside of me and truly one with me, there are no limits. And He can use me, and I can do literally anything that He tells me that I can do, I can do it. And, um, you know, just the... I never in my life thought I would leave and actually want to stay in contact with the people I met. <laughs> and for me to leave and actually like be interested in their Facebook posts and stuff is a big one for me. And it just, these people are going to be 
in my life forever and into eternity with God. And I just um, definitely think that I know that God by far exceeded the expectations I had and just did things I never thought would come about and just the whole time was fun and enjoyable. And um, I definitely recommend if you're thinking of coming, God will make a way. He provided for me financially when I was not expecting that I would be able to afford to come. He made a way and just made it so easy to be able to come and, and to be here. And um, I definitely think if you just come with an open heart and just say, God, do with me what you want to do and with this week and have your way that he will have good things in store for you.